And ahead, we are now just 10 days away from the annular solar eclipse on October 14th. Parts of Oregon and Washington expected to have some pretty good views of all the action. And this week, you'll have a chance to learn more about the remarkable event, in, uh, remarkable event in the sky. Joining us in studio with more on their upcoming star talks and star parties, Janet Zelke and Forrest Babcock with the Carleton Observatory. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, we have a uh, great piece of equipment right here. Explain yeah, this, this and how this could help us see the eclipse. Well, this is a, a Coronado Instruments telescope. It's a very special telescope. It's only used for looking at the sun. Oh, okay. If you point it at any terrestrial objects or the planets, you won't see anything. It's got a, a special hydrogen alpha filter, double stack, so it's got lots of filters. It's very safe. Uh -huh. And you can see the prominences on the sun. You can see the hot spots and cold spots on the sun. Oh, wow. And it's not like, if, if you look at the moon with the regular telescope, you see craters and mountains. With this, all you see is the sun. You see the hot spots and the cold spots and the flares. Wow. And it's it's, it's pretty, very cool. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. So that's going to be a great way to get a real up-close look at this annular solar eclipse. Right. What's some other um, advice you have for folks who might be wanting to do that next weekend? Well, the very first one is you still need those glasses. Okay. No matter where you are, if you're in totality, which for our area is from Corvallis down to, uh, I believe, Ashland, maybe not mm -hmm. quite that far. So totality gives you what's called the ring of fire. Mm -hmm. That's when you see the whole moon is eclipsing the sun. But because it's farther away from, the moon is farther away from us, mm -hmm. it's not going to occlude the entire sun like it did in 2017. Right. So up here, you'll see a crescent. Okay. Down there below uh, Corvallis, you'll see the full, that, that you'll see the whole uh -huh. golden ring of fire. So at no point is it going to be safe enough to take those glasses off? Not like even with totality. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. okay, you're located at the uh, Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum in McMinnville, and uh, you're actually starting an effort to create an observatory there. So tell me about that. We are. So about five years ago, we started the uh, Carleton Observatory with the um, future desire was to build a science center in Yamhill County. It's a pretty underserved county for resources like that. Mm -hmm. And so we saw a need and said a whole lot of people behind us said yes, they'll help. And then the Evergreen donated two acres of land to us to build the uh, 10,000 square foot science center with astronomy as its base. Wow. And so we're on our way to do that. All that right. Do you have cool. a timetable for that? Well, we're in the middle of raising about $12 million. Uh, one of the ways we're doing that is our donor wall is going to be as our rendition of the solar system on the ceiling of the building. Uh -huh. And if you, you could buy a star, kind of like buying bricks for a community center that right, they're like doing they something. Right, like they did Pioneer Courthouse Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, mm -hmm. we're selling the stars. So you could buy a star for as little as 50 bucks, or you could buy the sun for 40,000 bucks. Wow. And it's all going to go in the ceiling of the building. And when you come in and you type your name into a database, your star is going to light, light upon up. our ceiling. Oh, that's, that's a great idea. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, there are a lot of stars in the sky. So a lot of opportunities for donations to, to that's help right. build that's this right. observatory. Uh, so Forrest, let's talk a little bit about some of the things happening at night here coming up too. You know, annular solar eclipse, that's going to be during the day next Saturday. But you've got some other fun star well, talks on, coming up. On Tuesdays, we have Telescope Tuesday, and we invite the, the, the public to come and, and look at whatever we're looking at, which is for free. Oh, nice. And we looked at uh, the Great Cluster in Hercules, M13, last night. We looked at M57, which is a planetary nebula in Libra. And uh, we looked at Saturn, we looked at, the, at uh, Jupiter. Jupiter, yeah. The, the moon was coming up about the time everyone was leaving. Wow. <laughs> we saw it a lot. It's very, very interesting. And some of the, some of the um, events that we have coming up, there's a, a one of our final star parties is at uh, Raptor Ridge Winery out in Shoals. Oh, nice. And it's on the 13th of this month. But this coming Sunday, we're having a talk at the Evergreen Theater by a man named Bob Yosley, who donated this telescope to us. And he's doing a everything you always wanted to know about solar eclipses. Oh. And it's 15 bucks, and it is from 3 to 5.30 at the 
uh, at the Evergreen in the theater building, but outside in front of it for the first hour before, he's bringing two of his telescopes and this telescope, and we'll all of us be able to look at that. And all then right. we have a big story coming, storyteller coming in, at Dominio 4 uh, Winery on the 27th. It's a Halloween-based sort of story about Ooh. the stars. And then we have a big uh, movie premiere coming up on December the 8th, which is about a woman uh, born and raised here in Oregon and how she made it to where she is today. All it's right. very cool. A lot of things going on. Thanks yeah. for there coming is. in and You're uh, welcome. telling us about this and bringing Thanks, in the yeah. telescope as well, yeah. Janet Zelke and Forrest Babcock with the Carlton Observatory. We appreciate it. It's a great month to be looking up, that's it for is. sure. Keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs> for all the event information and ways to support the efforts to build a new observatory, go to carltonobservatory.com. All right, it's 739. Up next on AM Extra, we're getting an early taste of wine grape harvest season in the Willamette Valley. After the break, Core explores the early winemaking process. Learn how they make magic.